the conversation has actually been pretty, uh, you know, I guess it ranges anywhere from being somewhat hostile to, to, to collaborative. But I think um, a lot of the discussion has actually been pretty, um, it may be more collaborative than, than hostile, where I think, you know, a lot of the, the senators and Congress people have you know, been just been trying to understand exactly what happened uh, with Cambridge Analytica, but also kind of how Facebook runs its business, what they do with data, what they're doing in terms of security protection, how their business model works, um, because, you know, it's clear that a lot of, uh, you know, these politicians aren't super familiar with, with how Facebook actually works. And I think Mark spent a lot of time clarifying the business model uh, what, you know what they what they do with the data and, and and you know kind of just reiterating the fact that they don't actually sell data to advertisers um, and, and you know it, it is an auction system Facebook sort of the, you know the, the central party that that allows advertisers to um, you know actually target target uh, potential customers in, a, in an intelligent way as opposed to um, you know, maybe the way uh, consumers were targeted in the past. Do you think that he's done enough, though, to restore any trust that was lost in Facebook? And I ask you that in the context of a new Recode poll, which is up on Twitter as we speak, which says 56% of Americans trust Facebook the least out of any major tech company. And that includes Apple, Amazon, Google, Lyft, Microsoft, Netflix, Tesla, Twitter, Snap, and Uber. How much of a problem is that? To me, I see that as um, partly a PR problem, um, partly just a function of the fact that Facebook is the largest um, platform of its type in terms of total scale. I think you know one of the reasons why this is uh, hitting Congress and why this isn't in the press as much as it is is because we're talking about a platform with two billion people on it, and a lot of the platforms that you mentioned just aren't anywhere near that scale. Um, I think trust is also not something that Mark is going to regain uh, in the short term. Uh, obviously, like you've seen a positive market reaction to it, but I think when you think about the user base, um, it's going to take a much, you know, uh, you know it's going to take potentially months, years for them to to um, to really showcase the fact that the changes that they're putting into place are, are working and, and um, you know are are really uh, being sort of inculcated into the into the culture of the firm. Uh, you know, I think Silicon Valley in general has a reputation of, um, you know, like the, the old Facebook motto, move fast and break things. Like that type of hacking culture um, isn't necessarily, uh, you know, perfectly aligned with, with the notions of, uh, uh, of privacy. And, 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 you know, I, I think that's, that's changed, but, it, you know, it's going to take more time for, uh, you know, I think the press and people and politicians to, to kind of really see how, all the hiring they're doing, all the investing they're doing, all the AI investments they're making, like how those will actually play out. But I do think in the long run, you know, Facebook's going to become a bit of a data fortress um, over time. I mean, I, I, I sort of saw this with, you know, um, this type of transformation when they first went public. I think one of the things that um, investors should, should take note of is the fact that in 2012, Facebook went public, its stock price essentially tanked, fell in half. Um, and the reason was that people were skeptical about uh, Facebook being able to transform from being a primarily desktop-oriented business to being a mobile-oriented company. Mm -hmm. And over you know the, the ensuing months and years, you know they were able to solve that problem and um, you know b become a mobile juggernaut, uh, which is what they are today. And I think that the high-level takeaway from all this testimony is that all of the um, you know, the problems that the company faces right now, uh, they are solvable problems. And I think um, it's just a matter of time. You know, and obviously there's a lot of impatience. Sure. Uh, people are complaining that, oh, they're not moving fast enough. But they've kind of been through this before. And I think this is, uh, in many ways, an analogous situation. Um, and again, a problem that they'll solve. Yeah, I'll ask you to stand by. I want to go back to Washington now as Congressman McKinley has begun uh, his questioning of Mark Zuckerberg. And as you can see from these photographs, Opioids are still available on your site. Uh, that they're 